strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. The show must go on. Welcome back, everybody. It is Bulldog, and I'm going to pick up right where we left off talking about bots. So just recently, I made a video with a suggestion on how we could maybe take away one of the advantages bots have in terms of skill and maybe attack uh, attack a skill advantage that bots have. If you missed that video, certainly go back and check that out. But that, that kind of created a, a little bit of a stir, and there was a discussion about whether or not bots are really that good. And I said that bots were almost as good as the top players in the game, if not better, that the bots were better than at least the average player in, in the game. And some people didn't necessarily agree with that. There were people on, on both ends, but I thought, okay, let's go, let's go test this out because there is actually a new bot service that is that has just come out in beta. It's currently free, anybody can go use it and it believes it can be a competitor to Archmage, which is, which right now is kind of the gold standard as far as publicly available bots go. It's it's definitely one of the best. It, it puts people at the top of champion leaderboard. And I, I was curious. So I, I was very curious. So I decided this season, I am going to let my, let Xbox play the entire season, run every single battle of the season on my account except for the uh, the very beginning of the season, we did some Lux Vega testing, right? So I ran a, a little bit of battles, actually cost myself about 40 rating as I was experimenting with a Lux Vega. So there were a few battles at the beginning of the season, but outside of that, Xbot is going to play every single battle on my account. And here we'll, we'll go into, we'll go into to Xbot here real quick. And I want to see how it does because I am I'm very curious. I'm curious about two things. First off, can this be a competitor to Archmage? Because that could be interesting if we get some some competition there between public bots. Archmage currently charges 35 on top of needing a token. Archmage require or charges a 35% fee on your rewards, and a lot of people think that's too high, but they can basically charge whatever they want, right? Because they're the only ones out there that can really play at a high level that are that are competitive. Xbot only once it right now it's free because they're kind of beta testing. There are still a few few kind of hiccups that they're that they're working through. Uh, there's there's some occasional surrenders that pop up. They're trying to get those all cleaned up. Here in a few weeks, it will kind of go into it'll exit beta and it will require a token, but it will not charge any fees, zero percent fees. So it will be significantly cheaper than Archmage, and I'm sure that's something the community is going to like if there's another option. Uh, even if it's just somewhat competitive with with Archmage, it might it might uh, motivate Archmage to bring those fees down, right? If they start seeing some competition, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. But I'm curious to know if it can be a true competitor and and what happens. Will Will Xbot be capable of finishing the season higher than I did last season? How does my own play compare to a bot? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an elite play. Like, I mean, I'm fairly high up there, but I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm in uh, the conversation for best player in the game, but I'm not too far behind, right? I, I finished in the top 50 uh, before in champion. I'm certainly, uh, I'm certainly fairly high up there. So if, if Xbox can duplicate what I, what I'm capable of doing, I think that would really show people how strong these bots are. And this is actually the first time Xbox is even playing at this level. This was mainly designed with uh, more of like gold level um, in mind, although it was designed so that it can, it, its formula should be able to work at, at any league, but it wasn't really, it hasn't really been tested in these higher leagues. So we're kind of, I'm, I'm kind of going out here and seeing what we can do with it. So so let's look at Xbot here real quick. And then I'll show you guys how you can follow along with my daily progress as I'm, I'm issuing daily reports on Xbot. So xbot.app is the link. You can go down to the description here and find it. And you can just come in here and configure it to play essentially however, um, wherever you want. So you can have it send assets to other accounts. It's got battle settings, kind of like some of the other bots. You can choose if you want it to use starter cards or how much of a focus for starter cards. I don't want it to use starter cards at all. I'm not up in diamond. So you can choose whether it focuses on your quest, whether you want it to reset your request or your, sorry, your focus, not your quest, your focus now. Um, but one of the big things here I do want to talk about that uh, is going to be activated here in a few days. It's actually not it's not fully active right now. Some of you may have seen Splintermate. I've done a video on Splintermate before where you could set it up to rent cards to your account and then bought your account. 
This is a similar thing, except with Splinter Mate, you had to set your own prices. Go in and set for the individual cards what prices you want to pay. Xbot is going to make it so that you don't even have to do any of that work. All you need to do is put funds on the account and it will go rent the cards that it wants to play. So I'm very, very curious to see how that's going to perform. We might have to do another test, a separate test, just feeding it some DEC and seeing what it can do going out and, and playing. So that'll, that'll be very interesting. So if you guys want to test that out, that will be available. Actually, it will already rank, rent for strength, which is went, went, renting, trying to win the battle. And then power to make sure it's got enough power to go up the leagues. That's going to be activated here here in a, a few days. So if anybody wants to try that out, you can certainly go give that give that a test run and then it'll, it'll issue like reports and stuff uh, as well so here was the session report so this was the last session so this is what happened and i am writing these up on on my uh, my peak d post so if you come over here or just on you can even use different websites any anything that can read the hive blogs every single day i am going in and posting my results so this was kind of an intro post day one at 147 percent of the battles gained 39 rating so day two, actually, I've got that up over here. Won 47% of the battles, gained 26 rating. That's in spite of there was still, I think, there there were a few surrenders in there uh, as well that I reported as bugs, and those have been patched already. So hopefully we'll see fewer of those, and the win rate will increase a little bit. But so far, early on, if we come over to my account, everything you see, all the all the ranked battles, also playing be playing tournaments and brawls, but all of the ranked battles over here are going to be played by by Xbot. So you can actually come in if you want to follow my battles you can follow and see what what is is playing it plays in session so it'll actually do all the battles back to back running about 40 50 battles at a time and uh so instead of spreading it out it does run the run them all at once but if we come in here everything's kind of seemed normal we even saw this battle where was i had to laugh when i saw when i saw this one where's it at i know it's here some of you will recognize here some of you will recognize this have you guys ever seen anybody play this before? I was like, that's my team. That looks like my battle. Everybody makes fun of me because I spam Desert Dragon and Carnage Titan all the time. And it's like, it, it played my team. So I, I thought that was great whenever whenever I saw that. It, 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 plays, it plays legit things. So anyways, I'm just curious to let it run, see how it compares to my own skill level. Take a look, see how things go. Again, it's still very early on. Everything's still kind of being Kind of being tested, so there are certainly some some bugs to to work out. But I I don't know. It, and it's going to it's going to stir up conversation in other ways too. If this performs well, like I, I still feel as I mentioned on the on the last stream, I still feel like we are in danger of these bots becoming better than players. And I think that that was something that that was actually mentioned that was mentioned in one of the in the, in the, the post about the splinterlands reducing their staff by 40 45 percent they they kind of listed an outline for next year and the things that they're going to be working on and that was something that they said they were going to address or at least to look into addressing so i'm curious to see what they come up with but until that happens i i, I really think these bots are pretty good so Early on the first two days, I would say the bot didn't play quite as well as I, I would have, but it still gained rating. It gained rating playing in in top 75. Like I when the when the second session was done, it was ranked top 75 in the game still. So and it's still gaining rating. So even though I don't think it's quite as good as I, as I am, it's it's good enough that I think a lot of people, for for some people that might even be better than they play. And even for me, it, it might be easier than, than spending. Like, okay, if I, if I don't want to spend an hour or two hours playing for the day, it's not it's not much of a trade-off. Or it's looking like it might be not much of a trade-off. So anyways, we'll follow this. We'll see how things go. If you guys follow the follow my Hive post, you can, you can kind of get a summary every day of how things are going. I will make another video at the very end to kind of recap the entire season, compare, okay, this is how much I earned in season 98 this is how much the bot earned in season 99 by the way did you guys know we're at season 99 of swinterlands we have season 100 that is coming up season 100 i'm curious to know if they do anything my suggestion to the team before i left um what i suggested is they have a common promo card 
that is available no either, either common or rare depending on how expensive they want to make it either common or rare promo card that is has an unlimited print rate but is only available for season 100 something to celebrate season 100 that is available for the cost of one voucher per v per vcx that was my suggestion to the team before i left uh, no idea if there's going to be much interest there. I kind of got cut off of that con that conversation a little bit, but but that was what I suggested. So I, I don't know. I hope they do something special for season 100. Uh, even, even if it's not that, it probably won't be exactly that. But I hope they I hope they do something to celebrate season 100 because that is a pretty cool milestone. That season 100 is approaching. So, anyways, I'll. I'll, I'll We'll have a follow-up video. We'll talk about it on, on maybe some of the streams, how things are going. You can follow my my blog post on Hive. If you're not following there, make sure you go follow me. You can also follow my curation trail. We've got the Dart Squirrel curation trail that runs where I upvote uh, NFT gaming posts, mainly Splinterlands uh, content to, to help reward people for producing that. So you can follow that and provide some extra upvotes there as well. So anyways, I'm curious to see how it goes. Let me know how... Do, you, do we have any predictions? Leave your predictions down below. We will see who's right, who's not. We'll see what happens with the bots. Thanks again, guys. The support the last 24 hours has been just absolutely amazing. Um, you, guys, you guys are so awesome. I, I feel so loved right now. So thank you all for the support. You've been amazing. And uh, I'm glad you guys are going to be sticking around. Thank you.